Mr. DJ back with a Lost 45, an R&B hit from 1989 on my fancy playlist, July 30th, 1989. It's on the back of Top 40 Extra. Actually, in 1989, I was getting all the new music from MTV, but I was also an avid fan. I used to watch video vibrations and Video So, remember Video So with Donnie Simpson on BET, and that's probably where I got this jam from. It's a jam. Got that? Got that? So I, I think I picked this record because of the beat. Got a little bit of that New Jack swing, ballad singing, a little bit of gospel. Got yourself one heck of a record. My love is so raw by Allison Williams. Allison Williams never had a top ten hit on the pop charts. As a matter of fact, she never charted on Billboard's Hot 100. But she did have about four or five top ten hits. Top ten R&B hits in the late 80s and early 90s. She came from a musical family. Her dad was a band leader, a trumpet player, started singing background for people like Bobby Brown and Melba Moore before she joined a band called High Fashion in 1982 and teamed up in a band called The Affair a little bit later on. Went solo in 1986, released a single. Her first single did not chart. It was a cover of the Pointer Sisters' 1973 hit, Yes We Can Can. Signed a deal with Def Jam Records, though, in 1987. Came out with a ballad. Well, it came out with a duet with Chuck Stanley, Make You Mine Tonight. Although the song did not do well on R&B, was not a big hit on R&B, it did get her some Urban Creed. She teamed up. She did another duet with Orange Juice Jones. Remember Orange Juice Jones? Boy, he was gangster rapping like you wouldn't believe at the end of that song he did called The Rain back in late 1986. I saw you walking in the rain. Remember that? By uh, Orange Juice Jones. With Allison Williams did a duet with him called How to Love Again. And that was off of Orange Juice Jones. He put that on his album called GTO Gangsters Taking Over. Yes, indeed. One of those early gangster rappers, I guess. Orange Juice Jones, Allison Williams sing with him. Allison Williams came up with her first debut album. First de debut album, Raw, 1989. The album, that album went to number 29 on the UK album charts. Indeed, uh, she had two, one or two, Top 10 hits on the singles charts in England, including I Need Your Lovin'. Top 10, a mid-tempo, mid sort of mid-tempo, slow jam, a Quiet Storm classic. And uh, speaking of Quiet Storm, Just Call My Name, another one she did. Sleep Talk was a big one for her. Uh, top 10 R&B, top 20 in the UK. Allison Williams. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Melba Moore, Angela Winbush from back in the day, Stephanie Mills, uh, Vanessa Williams. Remember Vanessa Williams? Now, she had some hits in the late 80s and early 90s. Right Stuff and Saving the Best for Last. But let's get back to Allison Williams. My Love is So Raw went to number 12 on R&B. Went to number 34 in the UK. How about that? And it is on my fantasy playlist. And by the way, it's Nikki D. She puts on some rapping in this record. Nikki D kind of reminds me, kind of reminds me a little bit of MC Light. Remember, MC Light came out back in the 90s. Well, anyway, we got uh, Allison Williams. My Love is So Raw. A top 40 extra on my fantasy playlist. July 30th, 1989.